be running OS Monterey or newer. Apple finally built in a feature, this is an M1 MacBook Air, but it's a feature built into Monterey that lets you kind of wipe the entire system so you can get it ready for reselling. Let me show you how to do it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and check out my, I think, four to 500 videos on Apple products. Anyways, this is gonna be more informative. So if you're running Mac OS Monterey or newer, and you wanna go ahead like this M1 MacBook Air here, you wanna get it ready to resell it, and you wanna sell it to somebody. So you wanna clear your data and everything else that you have on it. You wanna log out of iCloud, you wanna get your fingerprints off there, things like that as far as the sensing, you know, fingerprint sensor. You wanna clear all that data. Before it was kinda of difficult. They made you boot into internet recovery mode, then you had to clear the SSD, then you had to reinstall Mac OS. And a lot of people didn't do that. And that's the problem. So a lot of people sold computers. If you go to eBay, for example, and you see kind of iCloud lock computers or lock computers, they're locked. I mean, they're basically e-waste and you can pick them, part them out of there. Like you can take pieces out of them, but you can't really get back into them. And uh, this has been a feature on the iPhone, what I'm gonna show you, but now they finally added it to Mac Monterey or newer. And it's basically a very simple way to clear everything and it makes sure that you're logged out of your iCloud account as well. It asks you maybe to do a final backup in the process, but it just makes sure that it deletes everything and log, logs you out of where you need to be logged out of. And that basically means that you can then go ahead and resell it and the next person that gets it, it's gonna look like it's a brand new setup screen on it. All your data will be gone and it's not gonna be bricked. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna share my screen wherever it is and uh, we'll show you how to do it. All right, so here we are on my Mac. This is OS Monterey or newer, otherwise you won't see this. So here's my cursor. You wanna go up to the Apple icon, click on System Preferences. It's gonna open up a box here. You've, obviously we know this is the System Preferences, but don't click anything there. Go right back up to the top menu, click System Preferences again. And now what shows up is Erase All Content and Settings. You'll see it there. So let me just show you one last time. I'm gonna close this down just really quickly. Apple icon, System Preferences. This comes up, go right back up to the menu, and then go to Erase All Content and Settings. So you click on that, this box comes open. You're gonna type in your password that you log into your computer on. So how you log into the computer when you turn it on, that's what you put in here. And then you click OK, it's called the Erase Assistant. All right, so that's that. Now, as soon as you log in, you may or may not see this next screen. It says Time Machine Backup. You should back up your Mac using Time Machine. If you haven't used it before, this may not come up for you, so just keep that in mind. Once you're done, you'd go down to the right corner and click Continue. This is the screen that's next, and everyone's gonna have a little bit different screen here depending on what you had set up in the past, but it's gonna say erase all content and settings, all settings, media and data will be erased, follow the items to be removed. So Apple ID, this is the big one, so it says it's gonna sign you out, that's super important. Touch ID is gonna be erased, your accessories, your Apple wallet, find my activation lock. It's also gonna be all data and everything else content as well, um, and that'll all be erased as well. Then you go ahead and click continue there, and uh, what you're gonna get finally is something that says in a lot of cases that you're about to erase all content and uh, on this Mac, uh, and then your screen might go dark for a little while while it's doing it. So then you go ahead and just say erase all content and settings there, and it's gonna start that erase process. All right, hope that was short enough, but anyways, it's pretty easy, huh? And you wanna do that in all cases. Definitely always log out of the iCloud account if you're gonna go the other route, but this helps you do that as well. Make sure that you click OK on that and get out of there so that you can go ahead and you know give a clear screen to the next person that owns this and it doesn't turn into e-waste or doesn't just kind of brick the system all together. Um, and a disclaimer is always back up your files and data. You always wanna do that. Always back everything up before you do anything like this if you're gonna be saving anything. But at the end of the day, it's made a lot easier process, so hopefully a lot of people will be likely to use it and there'll be less kind of brick systems on eBay. And uh, we'll get to a point where people learn how to do this. I know before it was a little more difficult and they made it that way, I'm not sure why. Um, people that weren't tech savvy just didn't want to deal with it and they just ended up you know, not doing anything, which is probably the worst thing. So anyways, I hope this helps people. That's what this channel is all about. Check out my four to 500 videos on all Apple products, services, tips, tricks, you know, reviews, everything else in between. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.